Yo guys, Lake Games here, and today we're going to be doing a, another video, uh, another episode of Flukaku's Glory. When full game comes out, we'll be doing different sort of uh, episodes, like, as I said, we'll be doing the journey, and we'll be doing um, a career mode as well. I'm probably going to do two, uh, Manchester United and Plymouth Argyle, run, running alongside of each other. Anyway, let's get f straight into the first game here. Um, they had Morata. And they also had a uh, big Kambu, which is like the he's got an inform at the moment. You know, straight away, like in 31st minute, which isn't long at all. We got a nice uh, goal from a nice finish from Pereira. Really good player. I would definitely uh, recommend you guys get him in your starter teams because he's got four star skills, four star weak foot. So you do Ronaldo chops. But we also get the second goal just quite quickly after the uh, start of the second half. With uh, Marshall, just showing how good for Ronaldo Chop is. Marshall's actually a really good player, but he's quite expensive. Um, and also, the cut back on dribbling is quite good, especially with Marshall, he does it really well. But Okazaki puts a lovely finish in here. But as I was saying, um, Marshall's really good at like running on the ball and then changing direction and then like make a space that way. And anyway, we had another goal here where Mick Tieran just sticks it in to make it 4 0. We basically smashed them this game. It was good to see uh, Mick Tier This was basically one of our first couple games with Rashford, um, Mick Tierian, and Marshall, and they all played really well. Anyway, uh, I'm in this episode, I am starting like the bronze method, and this is just like showing you how to do it. So you basically just list all the players up for 200, unless they look good, and then just like list them up for 400, 500 coins. Also, squad fitnesses sell for about 800 coins. That I mean, probably push for 850, but you might have to list them up a couple more times if you wanted to do that. So I didn't bother. Um, but yeah. Just that's what we did bronze pack wise. I'll be showing you a lot more about that at the end. Just skip to about the 8 minute mark if you want to learn more about the trading. But we're just going into our second game here. They had an alright team. Um, it had a better like attack than defence. The attack was pretty weak but they had Lacazette and they had Lamar. Which were the two main players in their team I believe. Anyway, uh, Megaterian puts a nice pass down. Uh, Okasaki was is a really good starter team player by the way. You can probably pick him up for about 400 coins, but he's definitely worth it. Honestly, like one of the best players I've used, which like, I haven't had to pay that much money for this FIFA. But they did get one back, which was complete bullshit. All this happened within five minutes, so it was not brilliant. And they were quite dangerous the AI is a lot better this year than it has been in previous years like world class probably it's what legendary was last year because they actually went ahead at this point uh, but we quickly just like managed to get back by just you know doing a little skill with McTeary and changing direction and doing lovely finesse shots finesse shots are also AP this year either power it or finesse it don't like go for a weak shot not worth it because at least if you put a power shot you can um you can basically like make the keep a parry it and get a rebound. So because we lost that game, we only got 506 uh, squad battle points, and we are ranked uh, gold two now. And because we've got our our bonuses for like game bonuses on, completely you should like put them on as soon as you get in the game. By the way, we got 1,500 for that game, and we will do for like the next 70 games. I think it is. So because we're like I'm like level 74, but as I was saying, basically uh, we got Aurea for a, we managed to get him for about 9.3k in the end, which was quite a good deal to be fair, considering how good he has played for me. As I was just saying a minute ago, um, really great player if you do want to pick him up. Although I prefer Bellerin because I've now got him in my squad. But we're continuing with the bronze pack method here, just listing everything up for uh, 200 coins. You just need to keep on re-listing it. A few of them glitched and put up to um, went back to 5k. But I I think they're fixing that soon though. Anyway, a couple more things sold, and yeah, it's just a case of just listing, re-listing them until you do sell, manage to sell them. But apart from that, just like keep on listing them for 200. They will sell eventually. Another good thing you have to do like while starting because it will put you ahead of everybody else like is doing the daily daily um 
like things to get the rewards because it's like 250 coins but it all adds up and yeah it's just like it's, it's such an easy way to do it and they're just things which you probably have to do throughout the day anyway the only ones which i don't really bother doing is like the ones like you see there like mls brace but where you probably need to like buy a squad to do to be fair or buy a player to do and because i'm doing a um like a bpl based uh road to glory that's like not viable for me to do but apart from that yeah just have a go at them it gives you a decent amount of coins also you get rewards for starter objectives there's a lot more starter objectives than there has ever been um but yeah as you can see the bronze stuff is selling and we're just about to get into the next game but the bronze packs method is like guaranteed to work it's low risk risk so if it doesn't work for you and you are really unlucky you'll lose probably about like 200 coins which is fuck all in the grand scheme of things so it is good Anyway, the, the team came against here, Lacazette, Hazard and De Gea, but the rest of their team was absolute shocking. Uh, so in the 30th minute, uh, Okazaki, another pass by brilliant player. And Rashford's pace managed to put us ahead. Rashford is really good on the counter-attack, but he's not that good at other things, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, it's like... Rashford, I have enjoyed using him so far, so... But I don't think I'd pay the 30k... Um, if I like didn't want him for this series sort of thing that's the only thing I would say anyway we won because we won that game we're nearly at gold one uh, by the way just to tell you guys that like it's n although it says like a certain amount of points there that goes up every day because it's like to do with other people like how other people are doing and obviously because there's more games coming out every day then it will go up quite a bit so I think it ends up Last time it ended up being about 13, 14k, but it pro probably will be more in like normal weeks because you don't, you're not limited to 10 hours. So you'll have some proper people who sweat it. In this team, they had Bachwari and they had Bernardo Silva, Mangala, Carlos Walker, and Pickford in goal with Kiyate in the midfield. The other four players, actually Barahino wasn't bad. He played quite well uh, in this game, but the other three just didn't really notice them. Anyway, Okazaki again, just with a bullet of a shot. As I can see, as you will see, like he's a class player. Honestly, just worth getting him. You won't like be disappointed. He he's so amazing. They managed like do my defense in here. I just can't defend. That's the only problem I'm having with this FIFA. I'm struggling on the defense type of things. Uh, I just can't like put the tackles in, or if I do, it just like they keep the ball. Anyway, Sterling, who we did sub on because we got him in a pack, put a lovely goal in. It's just because Mkhitaryan wasn't really performing that well this match, so I decided to make a few changes. But as you can see, this is 11 things sold from a bronze pack method, all for 200 coins. But this is just proof that it, carry, that it carried on working, and it's a really good method just to get your coins up at the start. I wouldn't use it once you pass 50k because there's just better methods like silver methods and inform investing but because it's a um because like you'll this start like close to start of fifa it's definitely worth doing at this point as you see we've got loads of stuff so, and if all that sells it's that's about 20k and we started this episode at about 10k so it's easy profit and you'll just keep on opening bronze packs to carry it on that's what i've been doing it's probably the best method i would say to start off with just be wary though like i'm selling contracts at the moment but as fifa progresses you probably won't be able to sell those uh, contracts as well same with the players so this is probably the best time to do this method but it still works throughout the year i this like the method i use all the way throughout fifa like i spent 150k on bronze packs and made about 400 500k back last year so don't say like don't it's not to say that if you've got like a big amount of coins that it's not worth doing um because it definitely is it'll just take you a bit longer time to sell everything but if you've got patience to do it then do it but, but the squad fitnesses are your best friends in this method though that must be said because they're the ones which like are guaranteed profit on one item and then everything else in that item, um in that pack is profit basically um healings are also good uh, you want to look for foot healings because they're the best ones because they go for around 800 900 coins 
because especially last year I'm not sure what's going to be like the main healing card this year uh, but yeah that's basically this episode I'm sorry if it was a little bit long I'm sorry if the commentary was a little bit bad I'm still like getting used to doing it I haven't really done beauty for a while now but yeah I'm just going to leave this episode there uh, please please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys next time